it's like yesterday or two days ago, we're talking about this leaked image regarding the P40 Pro from Huawei, their upcoming flagship, their new flagship. We're looking at this profile image, which at the time was called a render, but to me, it looked like a marketing image. And, uh, you know, just very little detail, all speculation at that point. And now, what feels like five minutes later, of course, it's another day, we have far more detail. And it's coming via an individual on Twitter, here, Yash Raj. And he's got specs. He's got some really interesting specs now for this upcoming device. Uh, that's got It's got me excited, Will. It got me a bit interested. I'm going to be honest. Now, I know... We still have the the issues, the ongoing trade dispute, but it feels like it's been alleviated a little bit or at least it's put on pause a little bit. And you know Huawei, they're going to keep working. You know that's what they're going to do. They don't know what else to do. And so this is uh, an example of that work. Now, when we looked at the design, what we talked about the last time was the fact that this was going to have a waterfall kind of screen setup similar to the latest mate series but now you want to know what got me real excited is a little word in here a little word graphene you're big graphene guy will futuristic substance apparently the p30 pro will be the first device to ship with a 5500 milliamp hour graphene battery 5500 milliamp hour and it's not an enormous screen by today's standards. So you could imagine some pretty staggering battery life mm -hmm. if it ships with that. The other benefit of graphene is for that capacity, you actually get a smaller footprint. So the actual size of it, comparative to a 5,500 milliamp hour traditional battery is 30% smaller. That's compared to a lithium battery. Mm -hmm. So you get a thinner device with more battery life. You get the best of both because that was always the thing that manufacturers were butting up against is that the customer wants to hold the slim device, particularly now that they're enormous from a screen size perspective, but they don't want to give up the battery life. Mm -hmm. Apple went ahead and dipped into greater battery life on their latest release. Yeah. Samsung is likely to do the same thing, mm -hmm. but the devices had to get fatter and heavier because of it. So graphene could be the ultimate solution. And it charges faster. And it charges faster. In fact, this device is going to take advantage of a new 50-watt fast charging technology developed by Huawei. And that's going to allow the device to reach 100% charge in 45 minutes. Mm. So it's not as crazy as some of the stuff we've seen uh, being announced from other manufacturers. But it's definitely, you know, it's, in, it's on that fringe. It's towards that edge that people are going to be satisfied with. Uh, the other thing that, that comes out from here, it, it was rumored, but it's feeling a little bit more likely now to have it corroborated here, is a 120 hertz display. So, as you know, Will, we talked about, talk about it multiple times here. That's, that's becoming the, the, the new spec that people care about because you've got to go from one spec to the next spec. There's got to be some reason to upgrade. Uh, there's been a, a variety of devices now pushing the refresh rate. 90 hertz, most commonly, recently, yeah. with the OnePlus device. Pixel device, although it kind of, it's a bit strange on a pixel device. You turn the brightness down and mm -hmm. battery life and, and all the rest of it. But I can speak from personal experience. If you haven't used a high refresh rate, display gives it, it gives it more of a performance feel then even some of the spec bumps actually under the hood. Just, mm. just the sort of snappiness associated with that. So that's kind of cool to see as well. Uh, rounding out those specs, though, 6.5-inch OLED waterfall QHD Plus definition. And you have the latest internal hardware from Huawei as well. It's all outlined in this series of tweets, including the comprehensive camera setup that's going to be on there as well. Uh, this is... Supposed to come out, P40, P40 Pro expected for first quarter 2020, perhaps an official presentation in Barcelona from the 24th to 27th of February. So pretty soon, we'll be seeing what's happening. I'm excited to check it out. 
and we have some more specs now that make me even more excited. I'm a big battery life guy. I, I, I really want to charge as little as possible. Mm -hmm. That's feeling futuristic to me. Do you think it's going to come with Google services? Yes, I believe it will. It will. I believe that, that this okay. thing is on hold for the time being, allowing them to continue to operate. I don't remember the official wording of the hold that was put in place, but they kind of said, okay, American companies can trade in a limited fashion for the time being. So I think I think this one will. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Don't don't uh, don't necessarily hold me to it on that, but I think well, I think it, it'll come out positive on that front, at least for now. Cool. But maybe not. It's possible.